think you can do what these guys do. This is a typical scene in the highly competitive world of GP2, the final stepping stone to Formula 1. GP2's illustrious graduates include the likes of Nico Rosberg and Lewis Hamilton. So success in this series counts for a lot. It's not for everyone though. More than bravery, skill and supreme reflexes, you need to be fit for the fight. India's very own Karan Chandok, a Formula 1 hopeful, gave us exclusive access to a regular training day for him. We sent Vinayak to Chennai to give Karan a run for his money. I swim anywhere I am, about three days in a week. Uh, and then combine that in the evening with some weight, prog weight training program, which is uh, more circuit training based, light weights, high repetitions, uh, you know, try and keep the heart rate up. Generally in a week, I aim for about 11 sessions of training, which will be, if you imagine a clear week of seven days, Monday to Friday will be two sessions every day, Saturday being one long cardio session, uh, and then Sunday a rest day, because even your muscles need to relax for a day. kicks off his mid-season training program with a one-hour swim every morning. Aside from exercising your entire body, Karan insists swimming increases your muscle endurance and lung capacity. Karan also follows a specific swim program, which contains segments that isolate the upper body muscles and requires concentration. It's definitely not for beginners, judging by the difficulty Vinayak was having in keeping up. We're sure he'll agree. Basically, we've done an hour. And today was a hard day for me because I'm still a bit jet lagged after flying in from Budapest and all that. So, uh, 2,000 meters today. Um, but you know, at least you got an idea of what it's like. We are on dry land now, and Vinayak is determined to save some face. Karun talks us through his strength training program. A lot of it is upper body strength, but also you've got to make sure you've, you've got a strong back, strong legs, because the brake pressure we use, for example, places like Monza is over 130 bar of brake pressure, you know, so you, you literally have to bend your leg back and kick the pedal to get it to work, uh, you know, at peak pressure. So uh, we're going to go through, we we'll pretty much use, I think, every bit of equipment we have in the gym here um, and go through all the muscles, no rest, keep pushing all the way through. Um, so let's see how you get on. Maybe. Vinayak definitely seems a lot more at home in the gym. He felt the draining effect of the swim segment during some of the exercises, but he kept on going right until the end. After which he sat down with Karan and asked him whether he was always a fitness freak. Funnily enough, when I was in school and 16 years old, I used to weigh 96 kilos. I was about that big. Uh, I used to wear size 39 trousers and I was massive and when I turned 16 my dad said to me you know I said okay I've got my race license now I want to be a racing driver and he said no he said you lose 25 kilos and I'll make you a racing driver and uh, in the next 10 months I lost 26 kilos and um, that was it so no I wasn't always fitness conscious. Karun went from fat to fit, but now where to from GP2? Of course, my ultimate goal is Formula 1, uh, like it has been all along, you know. It's uh, the pinnacle of our sport, it's, it's where every driver wants to be. And that's why we put in all these hours here away from the circuit also, you know. I've been fortunate enough that I've had uh, very positive comments and very positive interactions with most of the top team principals in Formula 1. Um, and we'll just have to see where that leads to. So does Vinayak stand a chance in the world of motorsport with his level of fitness? No, I think you did okay. I was a bit worried after the morning swim, um, where you looked like you were struggling a little bit. But, uh, you know, I think you did okay in the gym. So, um, you know, not, not too bad. There's, there's something you can work with there.